Stan Gibalisco here with a brief tutorial on how to connect a wire to a battery terminal when that uh, connection requires uh, that a great deal of current pass through without loss. This is a battery terminal that you're looking at right here that I have modified somewhat. You can see behind these washers, uh, well, a little bit of the lug which looks kind of like it's a galvanized or lead-like material. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's a lug on a 35-amp deep-cycle marine battery, which I intend to use for my radio in portable operation, my Yesu FT-857D. I've tested uh, that radio with this battery, and it does work. The battery does deliver the required amount of current, but the original terminals supplied with this battery, the screw was way too short, it had a nut that would just barely fit on there, it was very small, and the washers were also very small. I mean, there just wasn't any wiggle room for that wire, and it had a tendency to pop out when you wrap it around. So I bought wing nuts, longer screws, two approximately one inch outside diameter washers that fit nicely around the screws. And I can move that wing nut out like this and I can tighten it up with my with my hands. I don't need a tool to do that. And now I don't have the wire for the radio handy with me right now. But what I do have is a shoelace <clears throat> which is about the same diameter as the wire comes from the radio. And uh, if you can look very carefully, you can also see the sh part of the shoe itself. Well, the one thing that this thing, the w one way that this will fight you is that these washers will want to stay together. Uh, as, uh, but now you, but you pull them apart, you know, and you get them a, a good distance apart, parallel more or less to each other. And then you wrap that wire once about 180 degrees clockwise around. You make sure to strip enough of the insulation off so that, you know, you strip a, oh, a good inch and a half off. And you wrap that wire around like that and then you pinch it with one uh, hand and then with the other hand. Now remember to wrap that wire around there clockwise, not counterclockwise. And you just tighten that wing nut like this and those washers are going to clamp down on that wire good and hard and certainly the radio demands 22 amps you don't want to have any real significant resistance in this connection and uh, the, because uh, then you will get a voltage drop and the radio might not work when you key it so that isn't going to slip off of there trust me. <laughs> and it will uh, carry 22 amps, not into a shoelace, but into the wire it will. I know because I've tested it. So that's how you do that. That's just a little trick that you might want to you might want to keep in mind when you have an application like this. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, 73 and so long.